Hi, we are going to talk today about understanding graphs of polynomial functions. So what do we need to know? Uh, every graph of polynomial function is going to be first of all defined for all real numbers. The domain of all of every polynomial function is going to be all real numbers. The graph is going to be continuous, no breaks. Uh, it is going to be a smooth curve, no sharp turns. Everything is going to be nice and smooth. For degree 2 or higher, so starting with quadratic, the graph is going to have at least one turning point, which is where the graph is going to change from increasing to decreasing or the other way around. The maximum number of turning points is going to be always one less than the degree. That's the maximum possible number. And the minimum degree is always going to be one higher than the number of turning points, but there are more details that are going to be explained. Uh, also, with polynomial functions, there is very specific end behavior. No matter how many turning points the graph is going to have, eventually on the right hand side it's going to go up or down and the left side eventually is going to go up or down um, so how do we know if the leading coefficient is positive that's the number in front of the degree uh, the the variable with the highest degree then the right end always goes up or another way you can say that that the limit as x approaches infinity is going to go be infinity if the leading coefficient is negative, then the right end goes down or the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x is going to be negative infinity. As far as the other end, if the degree is even, then both ends will go up or down. If the degree of the function is odd, then one end goes up and the other end goes down. So what we're going to do next, we're going to make a chart that's going to help us hopefully remember that better. So here's what we need to know. If the function has, well first of all, if they have a positive leading coefficient, the right end always goes up regardless of the degree. And if the leading coefficient is negative, the right end is always going to go down. Okay. Now we have to determine what happens on the other end. So if the degree is even, both ends, as I mentioned, go in the same direction. So if the right end goes up, the left end goes up as well. If the degree is odd, the right end goes up, the left end goes down. Okay, so what about the negative leading coefficient? If the degree is even, we already know the right end goes down, then the left end is going to go down. And the, the degree is odd, since the right end goes down, the left end goes up. If you want to make it more formal, how they do it in more advanced classes, uh, and you want to understand proper notation, this is how we can write that. So if the degree is even, then the limit as x approaches infinity of the function is going to be infinity. And uh, that's the right end. And the, the right end with uh, odd degree is also going to be infinity. If you have a positive leading coefficient and the degree is even, then the left end when you go to negative infinity with even degree is also going to go to infinity. If the degree is odd, they're going to go in the opposite directions, and then this limit is going to go to negative infinity. With negative leading coefficient, basically everything is backwards. So for even degree, both ends will go down, so they're both going to negative infinity. And for the odd degree, the right end is going to go down, since uh, the leading coefficient is negative, and the right end then is going to go up. So that's a formal way of writing the same thing. Okay, So let's take a look at some examples. Uh, the first example is we need to determine the end behavior and also the try to figure out the number of turning points, the max, the, the most possible. So this uh, function here, we don't care about anything else besides the leading term. The leading term is the one with the highest degree of x. Nothing else is going to matter when it comes to the end behavior or even to the number of turning points. So, negative leading coefficient means the right end, x goes to infinity, is going to go to negative infinity. The degree is even, the left end is going to do the same thing, so the left end is going to go to negative infinity as well. What's the most number of turning points? So the degree here is 4, the most number of turning points is going to be 1 less than that, that means that number is going to be 3. Our next function, next example, uh, we have this function of fifth degree. This is our highest exponent. Okay, 
But by the way, when you are going to do these problems, be very careful, watch out for sometimes turns may not be written in standard form and then you need to make sure you do it correctly by identifying uh, uh, your variable with the highest exponent. So what do we know here? We have positive leading coefficient, it's positive 3, which means the right end is going to go up. Now this is an odd degree which means the left end is going to do the opposite and on the left end is going to go to negative infinity, it's going to go down. That's a pretty ugly infinity I got. No, I don't like this. Negative infinity, there you go. What's the mo maximum number of turning points here? Well, we have degree 5, so the maximum number of turning points is going to be 1 less, which means it's going to be 4. All right. Now, our last example here on this page, um, this function of degree 3, so we have negative 3x cubed, this is the only term that's, that we need to answer all three questions. So what do we have here? We have odd degree with the negative leading coefficient. So the negative leading coefficient means that on the right the function is going to be going to negative infinity. And because the degree is odd, on the left side is going to do the opposite, so on the left side is going to go to infinity. This is degree 3, so the most number of turning points is going to be 1 less, that means we're going to have 2. Okay. Let's take a look at some graphs. Okay. So what we need to do in these three problems, we need to determine the lowest possible degree of the polynomial and we also need to state the sign of the leading coefficient. Okay. So let's start with the sign of the leading coefficient. All we need to do is look on the right hand side, we don't care about the left hand side. So the right hand side is going up, so the leading coefficient is positive. What about the degree? Well, we have one, two, three turning points, so the degree at uh, least is going to be one more, which means at least three. I'm sorry, four. Uh, we also need to make sure it's consistent with the graph because both ends go up. That mean, well, they, since they both go in the same direction, that means that the degree has to be even. So our lowest degree here is four. That does not mean it can be cannot be higher, but it has to be even for sure. Let's take a look at example five. So what do we have here? The leading coefficient is going to be determined by what's happening on the right hand side. On the right hand side the graph is going down so that means the leading coefficient is negative. What about the degree? Okay, so with the lowest degree we're going to have to count our turning point. So we have one, two, three, four. That means the lowest degree is going to be at least five. Is it consistent with the shape? One end goes up, one end goes down. That means the degree has to be odd. So one, two, three, four. Our lowest degree here is going to be five. With this function, I hope you can now get a head start with this and figure it out on your own. But in case if you don't, let's see. The right end go, goes up. That means the leading coefficient is positive. The lowest degree Let's count the number of turning points. One, two, three, four, five. So five plus one is six. Both ends go in the same direction. That means the degree has to be even. Six is good. We're going to write six. Okay, here's a special type of behavior. First of all, we can easily identify since the right end goes up that the leading coefficient is positive. It's going to be greater than zero, but here is one uh, thing that's going to be a little tricky about this graph. This type of behavior here, if we count the turning points, we only have two. So plus one, we would think it's going to be three as the least degree here, but it's actually not going to be three, it's going to be at least five because of that type of behavior. If you ever see this type of behavior, that means you're going to have to add at least two to your um, uh, to the degree. So the degree here, the lowest degree, is going to be 5, not 3. 
let's take a look at this graph here. So the leading coefficient here is going to be negative because the right side goes down. What about the degree? The lowest degree. Let's count the turning point. So we have one, two, three. So with three turning points you would think the degree is going to be four but we have the same type of behavior here. We know this function is going to be even because both ends go in the same direction but degree four is not going to work here. That means the lowest degree here is going to be six. And this is how these types of problems are done. I hope this helps.